We've been getting a look at robots powered by artificial intelligence. Our Lindsay Mastis covers AI and was on Capitol Hill recently. Yeah, very important to make sure that lawmakers are interacting with the technology mm -hmm. as they get ready to regulate it. And one of the robots that lawmakers got to interact with is Spot. It's the Boston Dynamics dog, and it does a lot more than many of us realize. Spot can be a big help. Holly Yanko is a professor at the University of Massachusetts at Lowell, and she's helping train Spot to operate on board Navy ships. We simulate shipboard movements in my lab to see how can we have these robots work in these rocking environments. Spot is able to retrieve a screwdriver and hand it to me. We're really good at looking at, you know, scenes, understanding them very well and know what we need to do to fix something. The robot's good at fetching a screwdriver. This is a menial task, but Spot can also help with dangerous situations. Brendan Schulman with Boston Dynamics says most people don't realize Spot is being used at nuclear power plants to assess leaks and even help decommission sites. We've had a robot exposed to so much radiation that the robot's no longer operational. So there's a robot in a nuclear power plant that isn't going to be used anymore much better than sending a person into that situation. In another case, he says Spot was shot three times while responding to a barricade situation. So we had a robot take the bullets instead of a person. And when it comes to the military, there are restrictions. <laughs> Boston Dynamics prohibits customers from weaponizing its robots. What is the military allowed to do with these robots? Well, we do have uh, Defense Department uh, customers, and really they are engaged in using robots in a way that protects life. So, for example, explosive uh, ordnance disposal, uh, where you might have a roadside IED. You send the robot in to investigate and defuse the bomb rather than a person in a protective suit. Not only is Boston Dynamics making a point to show the technology on Capitol Hill, but they're also meeting with United Nations officials to call on them to ban the weaponization of robots. I'm going to follow these developments and, of course, show you even more AI technology. You can find all my reporting on WJLA.com. All right. Taking the bullet for you, huh? Love to see it. Better the machine than a human. Absolutely, Lindsay. Thank you.